Last year, Nissan made big waves in the truck category with their Titan XD. That was an in-between half ton and three quarter ton, super kind of heavy duty truck. And that was available with the Cummins Turbo Diesel. Well, this year they're addressing the most popular truck category in Canada, and that is the half ton market. Over 70% of all trucks sold in Canada are half tons. This here is the 2017 Nissan Titan. We're here in beautiful California to check it out. Okay, let's face it. When people are looking for a pickup truck, it's not just about the capability of how much it can haul or how much it can tow. It's how cool or macho looking it can be as well. This new Titan definitely addresses that. It has a very tough, rugged, super bold design. Look at that front grille and its chiseled front end. Now don't mistake this Titan and its bigger brother, the Titan XD. They are completely different chassis. This Titan has a shorter wheelbase and the length and height are shorter as well. Nissan is calling this the every duty truck. The back box of the Titan can be configured various different ways. This one is equipped with a rail system on the top and the bottom uh, for tie downs. You can equip it also with a removable Titan box system. It does come standard with LED lighting. There's four of them and they are underneath the bed rail here and why that's good is you can see when it's darker even with a tonneau cover or a canopy on now here's one of my favorite things the tailgate one hand up it's assisted and when you lower it it's dampened gotta love that okay the inside of the titan this happens to be the platinum reserve uh, model so it is fully loaded with a lot of luxurious amenities. Let's start off with the two-tone seats, the leather seats that are heated and cooled. You have a wood trim steering wheel, accent stitching throughout the dash. In the center, you have a touchscreen infotainment system with backup camera and a round view monitoring. Perfect for parking and if you take it off road, it's great to see over the crest of those hills. Below that, you have your heating controls, which are very easy to use because they're knobs, not buttons. So if you're using this as a work truck, you have gloves on perhaps in the winter time, it's easy to use. Uh, below that, we have our drive selector. You can go two wheel drive, four high, four low, your trailer brake controller, and your USB and power outlets. There are not a lot of USBs in this truck, actually only one of them that I can count. I can't find one in the back. So that's a little bit of a knock on that. Storage wise, I'm a big fan of in-cabin storage, whether covered or uncovered. You have a removable and movable drink holder. If you wanna take it out, you have this large well here. You can put a thermos in there, a lunch, whatever you want. And then you have an enormous, uh, first of all, a removable tray and a large, large uh, bin here. You, you can easily fit a purse or a camera bag or anything you want to hide in there. Talk about hiding. In the rear, you fold those seat bottoms up and you have a nice flat floor for transporting anything that you need. And then also underneath that, there is a concealed lockable compartment. That's cool. Under the hood of the new Titan, a 5.6 liter V8 engine. Yes, that's the same size engine as the outgoing Titan, but the outgoing one had 317 horsepower. This one, 390 horsepower and 394 foot-pounds of torque. That's matched to a seven-speed automatic transmission and with better aerodynamics due to active grill shutters now in the front you get 28% better fuel economy. That's huge for driving a big full-size truck. Now, of course, if you want to tow anything, which most people do if they have a truck or they haul or tow, uh, the base towing rate for this Titan, 9,200 pounds, and that's the base. You can go up from that. Now, one thing that Nissan did with this Titan, though, is they really refined the ride. Sure, it's a pickup truck, but there's nothing wrong with having a nice, fine, comfortable ride. And how they improved that, first of all, is they added hydraulic body mounts, which helps eliminate any type of vibration or, or noise. This interior is also 45% more sealed than the outgoing model, so less air in, less air out, less noise, as well as acoustic glass. So a much quieter experience, yet 
when you do put your foot down to it, you can still hear that nice growl of that V8 engine. The suspension is also being retuned and if you go up into the higher trim models, you do get standard Bilstein shocks and also auto load leveling for the back and that uses uh, airbags to do that. I really wish I could justify owning a new pickup truck like this Titan. Why? First of all, I like the ride height. You ride nice and high, so you have a better view of the road. You feel safe because you got a lot of metal around you. Uh, the interior, so spacious and luxurious. A lot of these trucks are available with uh, all the creature comforts that you'd get in a modern vehicle. And room, lots of headroom, lots of leg room. You can just really stretch out. I could easily put a couple car seats back there and the kids would have lots of room as well. I just don't haul or tow anything very often, so no truck for me. The new Titan is an all-rounder truck with its capability and features. It can please both recreational and work truck user. And then you get the looks. In my opinion, this is what a truck should look like. It's masculine, it's bold, it's aggressive. So if you're one of the 70% in the truck market looking for a half-ton pickup truck, this one shouldn't be passed over.